All right, let's go back to the technology. I like that conversation. Yes, nowadays I put posting in my Facebook, right? I said, what's that? Uh, I said, I put something that our uh, generation, you know, what the technology does to our culture. And one comment there, it doesn't do any good, right? It's true, but it's up to the parents how to the how are they going to discipline their children? I myself, I cannot even discipline myself because I only communicate by phone. Without any phone, how are you gonna be able to communicate to your loved ones? Yes, well, you need to have discipline. Correct. Yeah, discipline is critical at all stages of your life, <coughs> and in fact. <coughs> things have changed so much that you might get in trouble these days for disciplining your children. <laughs> uh, so it's become a very precarious perch that we have found ourselves on with this advanced technology, communication, relationship development, relationships between parents and kids. Um, kids these days are just born evolved. You know, I mean, you know, there was a time you know, when technology really started shifting where I didn't follow the technology curve. So I put in a new, like, television system or something like that, and I, I couldn't operate the, the remote, right? I had to go yeah. next door and get a 12-year-old kid or a 10-year-old right. yeah. kid to come yeah. in and get my TV going for me. But, but to illustrate a point, I mean, I, I think that there's a division that is arising uh, in our generation. Uh, I think technology is really creating mm. a, 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 an, in, an individual that is um, hypersensitive uh, and there's a sense of hyperintelligence that's associated with it and those that can't follow along fall off on what? a dark side of society and like your like your daughter she's mm -hmm. a super achiever and yeah. on the other side very of that smart. she's utilizing this technology to really advance herself right. so it's a very interesting place to but be. But still just like the older days you can shut off the television you can always shut off the access to the internet. You can't shut this off. Yeah. You want people to think but let them do schoolwork yeah. and not start talking to the people's friends on here and not meeting. Well, you can you, you can you can tell what generation we're yeah. from because you are <laughs> the old, here you are old the fogies. old part generation and is a second a little bit generation of technology beyond. No, technology <laughs> works, but it has to be integrated into a way that you don't lose your personal value. No, let no, me, and, and we would hope that's the case, and it is the case truly, but. Does it become the case? I think yeah. that's the question. Let me let me go ahead and uh, maybe do the shout out. And once again, this is Mike Anthony Jones, uh, film director, a musician, and go to YouTube. I see the Mike Anthony Jones. And coming soon, if you are investors or you want to get involved on the film industry, we're searching. The movie itself will be like uh, at the end. It will have a PTSD and you know, of course, a it's lot a very of healing message. Yes, it's a healing message. I Actually, I supposed to have another attorney here, and he owns the CBD oil. He is from Oregon, and he owns the marijuana dispensary, marijuana. He's supposed to be on a Skype, but I never heard from him. <laughs> so, yes, the movie Mike Anthony Jones, and thank you for Janet, and of course Dr. Cena and uh, Francis. I have a lot of viewers right now, and I cannot read. Uh, Dr. Terry Akers, thank you for watching our live TV. Then Sandy and Nell and so on and so on. I'm sorry I cannot mention all your name. And also thank you so much to SMDC. If you are looking to buy a property in the Philippines, SMDC, uh, they have a lot of uh, condominium, American, any nationality, diversity are welcome to invest in the Philippines. So if you want to invest, call me, so SMDC, and they have a lot of projects in the Philippines, around the Philippines area. So once again, SMDC and Federation of Philippine American Chamber of Commerce, October, Manila Hotel, we have a trade mission. If you want to join us, we have a medical and humanitarian mission that's in Davao. Once again, uh, sponsored by FB, FPSCC and also OWI, that's uh, Yolanda Stearns, and also FPSCC, President Marie Cunning. And of course, thank you for watching our live TV. And to all the viewers right now, Thank you for watching Aria Live TV. And if you want me to be there and film you guys live, we can do that. And of course, let's go back to Mike Anthony Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should talk about the Philippine television show that I'm yes. producing. 
Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> so that's just, I have a real interest in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and, and um, a very close friend of mine has introduced mm -hmm. me to that culture, and I, I decided I, that's a TV project that I would like to do, is like kind of what's happening I with the Philippine that community. I want to do in my show, like yeah, yeah, that film series, like every great. week that they can yeah. watch it. I mean, yeah. the culture of Filipino, we still respect people, like, yeah. sir, ma'am, yeah. sure. how are you, sure. ma'am? But sometimes a lot of Filipino here that probably, uh, they don't want to be called on their like manong mana because they don't want to be called older and you know older people but yet i tell you all the time that there's a special relationship with the philippines they have a special tie with the united states going back since 1898 and so you know you have a a certain exchange of values that one mm. could recognize yeah you there. bet you bet and and uh mm -hmm. you know spending some time with my friend danny and going over the philippine culture he has very deep ties over there a lot of business ties uh and i i think it's a remarkable place uh you know some people think of they think it's the jungle right no look at manila right this place is like blowing up you know yes, he, yes, he, i mean it's why. it's as contemporary and cutting edge as it yes, could be very yes. very beautiful some of the some of the uh, inner city stuff that's yeah, there. Yeah, like, like this one. Uh, yeah, You know, let's do that. I think I like that idea. So you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so no. I and like I've, I've spent some culture. time doing this and developing this content, and this is one of the things that's on table for me next. This is this Philippine show that I want to do. It's the ultimate Philippine show is probably what we'll call it. But to show what's happening in the community here, mm -hmm. how it relates to the community there, and, you know, people that still have this dream of coming to America, and it's great, and, you know, but here's what I also also know about uh, Philippine people uh, when they leave America and they go home and this is what I understand and the plane is landing on the tarmac they start <laughs> and they're like so happy to be home you know because I guess you get separated actually it's not just time. Filipino when I went to uh, King Kong with my kids you know all those people are clapping and I sure. think it's so much the pilot you know yeah. Yeah. That they same. landed <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they landed yeah you, you, you definitely want to yeah. do that um, but yeah, yeah it's uh, you know great culture um, very interested in that and and I think you're right, the ties are very deep between the, the two countries. Uh, we would hope that it remains uh, diplomatically and politically stable in that because... And when you write your music or your films, do you try to be international in values? How do you focus your viewership? We, we don't have much time for that. I rather you invite people and also send to your website. So oh, okay. Well, um, you know, you could come to wolfonthemoon.com uh, and uh, you could see some of my work there, see stuff that I do. Uh, you know, I'm working on a number of different television shows, reality live shows right now, and so maybe I'll come on again and we promote some the of this stuff. Week. Yeah, and yeah, we'll and, and, and once they're once they're really developed well and they're ready to release and stuff, we'll talk about that. And one is very, very close, and it's taking place right here in Las Vegas. I, li I like to do that because uh, director uh, Edna Malabana and Albano, uh, she already asked me to be part of her movie. I supposed to be on one of her movie, but I missed that. I used to be I supposed to be a princess, but now she wants my daughter to portray one of the movie that she's making. And Very also cool. Art Camacho will be here. They're having a television here right now. I, uh, I'm gonna be meeting them also. They're filming now. Uh, owned by Chinese, the television here, by the way. Technology, they don't use film anymore, sorry. No, they do. It's digital. They do. It's yeah. digital. Yeah. No, it's not. It's really actual uh, film. film. Wow. It's actual that's film. that's, that's yeah. really stepping back. My, my <laughs> yeah. film, my first one was shot on film, right. actually. So that gave it a really interesting retro look, and the director that did that did that intentionally because right. that's what he was going for. That. Easy writer I think I like that if we can put my my show here on the show because it's reach out to all oh, yeah, the yeah. world. It's no, that, that would than be great. Filipino, yeah, you know, tell tell yeah. Us yeah. It, it's really good. We'll, we'll go over the the content and you'll mm -hmm. see where I'm going with mm -hmm. it, and I think you'll I think you'll be yeah. happy with that. Yeah. And there's a component for real estate promotion in it sure, actually. Sure, sure. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But anyway, once again, thank you so much. And uh, SMDC, if you wanna purchase. I'm here, I am actually in charge for North, North America with Eileen. Hi Eileen. So this is, we have in uh, Pasay City all over Manila. How about that? All over Philippines. So if you want to invest, everybody invited uh, diversity. American can invest, except if you want to do the business there, you need to have a partner. Except if you want to buy a land, then you, you get need married, to be married there. there. Yeah, you <laughs> <get> married there. <laughs> <laughs> Kondo, yes, you can. But anyway, FPSCC, Federation of Philippine American Chamber of Commerce, October Trade Mission. If you are a corporation exhibitor and if you are inventor, invent, invented 
please join us go to our fpscc.net and also join us on our medical mission humanitarian mission that will be october in davao i never been to davao but i'm hoping to go there going there next yeah <laughs> october <laughs> but anyway steve thank you so much My and pleasure. hopefully we'll see you again next week you bet and don't forget to watch our movie coming soon <laughs> sunny versus the hoa <laughs> <laughs> Sunny versus the HOA, uh, we're looking for funding and where are you going to be filming at? Uh, Chicago and one of the states that's given the best tax incentive. Alright, thank you so much and thank you to my director of course, Scott McCambridge. Bye for now.